All right, YouTubers, uh, you saw in my last video where I had the door panel pulled off. I showed you how to do that. And now I basically uh, got the window working. Um, I got a short somewhere, that's for sure. Um, what I did, I went down here where the motor is, and I unplugged this and plugged it back in and, and kind of cleaned it and stuck it back in there and tapped it with a hammer. and couldn't get anything to happen. Then eventually I went over here and just kind of played around with these wires and uh, pushed them back in real good and eventually uh, I got it to go, I got it to work. Now, if you hit this just right, you see the window will go up and down. Now, if I shake this, it'll try to quit. If I can get to do it. I haven't hit it up. You can see it's trying to quit there, so. So there's a short in this uh, system right here, it looks like. So I may just go out and get another one. But the motor seems to be okay. Now what I did, I went on ahead and I have some of this white lithium grease. And I would do this if I were you, if you're having window problems. Uh, this will make your window work much better. Spray some in the channel here, like I did on that side. And that side, you're probably not going to be able to see it. But I did get some on the glass. And I went down here and sprayed all this. And also, one other thing that people forget about, if you leave your vehicle sit under a tree, make sure you get the glass nice and clean. Get you something uh, like maybe an SOS pad and lightly clean this glass really well because residue gets on this glass and often it'll catch on this weather strip here and on the inside. And when this window is going up and down, it creates drag on the motor. You don't want that. You want this window as clean as can be so it can slide up and down on that channel there, that weather stripping, and into these uh, channels. And also, like I said, I put a little grease down here. Now, this one was pretty easy to work on because it's a Chevrolet, and they designed it where you can get in here and do a lot of things. Now, um, if you don't have a motor that works at all, and um, you're, just, you're pretty sure it's the motor that's bad, and you can't get to working, I can't get it to work. Um, what you can do is uh, take all this out. Now I'm going to show you here. I'm just going to kind of uh, pan around and show you what you're getting into when you uh, pull off all this, uh, pull all this uh, stuff off the door panel and everything. So once you get all this off, and by the way, um, there's a speaker. I think someone's put some nice speakers in this uh, blazer. Although the back door speakers don't work, so that's something else I'll have to look at. But here is the motor. And here is the um, the wires, the cables that have the window uh, attached to it. And this window will go up and down as this motor spins a, a gear in here. And there's a cable that is right there and there. And if I hit the power button a couple times, you might be able to see this to go up and down a little bit there. You can see how that works. So I sprayed oil in there. Cleaned it up real good, and it seems like it's working pretty good. It's just this switch here, uh, it's got an issue with it. So, if you need to go buy one of these motors, and yours is, uh, I've, I've actually seen these um, break right here and com come completely apart, and the window doesn't work, and the motor just spins and spins and spins. But I went on eBay, and let me show you what I found real quick. You can see here, I'm on eBay, and they have lots of uh, window regulator and motor combos for sale from $31 all the way up to probably $40, $50. So getting window regulators is not a bad idea if you got your panel off and you're having some issues with your motor. If it seems like it's dragging a little bit, I'd probably go with this route. All right, so um, hopefully that little bit of information there will help you. Uh, it's not too uh, expensive to actually replace these, which is nice, and they're easy to get to. So uh, other than that, I'm just going to go ahead and put this back together and use it for a while. It looks like I'll probably have to go out and hunt up a switch. Now, what you can do to verify that your motor's working, unplug this plug right here and get you a test light. Ground it right there. Let me just ground this real quick. And if I hadn't plugged that back in, I can show you real quick. But once that's grounded, to unhook this plug and just kind of test this by hitting the up and down switch. Uh, there's two wires going to the motor. One powers the motor one, one way, spins it one way, and the power, when you flip the switch the opposite direction, it spins the motor the opposite, the other way, different way. So uh, just check your test light. And if you're getting power here, then you know your motor could be bad. So um, other than that, I'm going to go ahead and stick this back together. And um, someone's worked on it before. 
so it could be a, you know an issue uh, with something here uh, quite not right but at least I know the motor goes up and down and all I have to do now is go ahead and get another switch and also one other thing you could do if you don't know if it's the motor bad if the motor is bad or not take you something and just tap this motor because sometimes the brushes in here are, are the contacts are so bad uh, it, it, they're not working if you tap this a couple of times it actually might have the motor kind of turn a little bit and if it does and stops you know if you got a bad motor and uh, so other than that uh, looks like it's working and one other quick thing here before I end the video you take this window up you basically take those bolts out there and you got one right here you take out then you uh, kind of fish the window out pull off the stripping and it usually comes out pretty good so other than that I'm gonna go ahead and stick this back together for now but at least I can operate this window I'll hunt me up another switch there from a junkyard and uh, eventually put it back together so uh, having said that let me go ahead and stick this back together all right guys so we got everything back together and here's one more look at these little zip ties that I got on here if yours happens to get broke just run it through that hole right there, and there's one over here in that handle. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. And just pull these tight, and that'll keep this plastic on there for now. Actually, you may like it and not worry about it. And uh, when you want to take it off, just take your snippers and uh, cut them off. And yeah, it, it, it looks pretty good. So uh, there we go. We got the panel back on now. Um, I'm not 100% convinced that it's that switch. Uh, my sneaky suspicion to me thinks it's probably a motor problem, but I'm going to give it a couple of days here. If, once, if it quits working again, I'm going to tear the door panel back off and go in and uh, test that motor again because it may be just working temporarily right now just to fool me. <laughs> so other than that, uh, that's the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe and like and all that. And uh, comment, and I will see you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out.